Tonight on Wolf. The baby, where is she? Let her go! Now, tell him, you want to die? Tony, where the hell have you been? Mrs. Metcalf has been kidnapped. The baby's okay, Metcalf is going out of his mind. Yeah, the baby's in good hands. What do I know about baby? But no, you put the food on one end. Now, see how Tony, you in some kind of trouble? Sponsored by The Dentist's Choice for Fighting Cavities, Crest with Floristat. Available in three great cavity fighting flavors regular, mint, and cool mint gel. Hey, Joe! Joe! I'm in it! Tony! Tell me you enjoy all this. Ah, fishing. It's in the blood, Dylan. Is it? Besides that, my old man's boat needs a new pump. Your old man's boat needs a new boat. Can I speak to you a minute? You uh, interested in making a little extra money? A little? Yeah. Well, now that depends on what I have to do to earn it. Watch a client's wife for a couple of days while he testifies in the civil suit. Who's the guy? His name's Greg Medcalf. His father invented some kind of semiconductor they use in computers. His only mistake was showing it at Kensitron Industries. They ripped him off. He sued, dragged it on in the courts, then he died. His sons picked up the suit. We go to trial this week. Kensitron's five lawyers and me. I like the odds. Glad you do. Where's the wife in all this? Yesterday, someone threatened him in his office. Apparently, the company has more at stake than we thought. So we went to the police, but Kensitron is claiming that Medcalf did this to himself, for the publicity. Personally, I think they're laying the groundwork for a mistrial. Needless to say, the wife is scared to death. And he won't drop the suit? No. I like him already. Where do I start? Now, that's her address. The safe house. The key is in there. I've used it before. It's south of the Mission District. What's this going to cost me? I'll let you know. Let me know. Tony Wolf, Mr. Metcalf. Bill and Elliot sent me. Late. Yeah, well, I only found out a couple of hours ago. It's my wife, Lois. Hello. Call you tonight. Don't worry. It's almost over. It's never over. Mr. Wolf, appreciate your help. Anything for good cause. Ready, Mrs. Metcalf? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. We'll be ready in a minute. Mr. Wolf, right? Correct. Would you like to take the bags down? Uh... I think it's only going to be a couple of days, Mrs. Metcalf. Obviously, you've never traveled with a baby. A baby? I thought, uh... Oh. I mean, De Dylan never oh. said anything about a baby. Meet Mary Ann. Say hi to Mr. Wolf. Hi. Oh. Where's the car? 
Right there. You've got to be kidding. No. Everything. How do you stay so skinny? It's not what you eat, it's how. Uh, <laughs> that is so hot. I mean, I remember when you used to work here and I followed you around everywhere. Now look at you, you're a model living in New York and you're off to Paris and London. And... Yeah, but even in Paris I fantasize about your mom's cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> what does it take? I mean, to be a model. Commitment. You want something bad enough, you do what it takes. You think that I... <laughs> could be a model? I think you never know unless you try. Really? Really. So has Angie let you eat? You have no idea how she talks. Your picture appears on the cover of Cosmo, goes right up on her wall. Mom! It's true. So, why don't the two of you come to the show tonight? Tonight? Yeah. I mean, it's a big party after. It goes all night. You'll love it. So why don't the two of you talk about it while I go to the little girl's room? Can we, Mom? Please. And it's a school night. So what? This may be the only chance I have to see Noelle in a real show. Mom. Don't you have a math test tomorrow? Yeah, but I studied for it. Honest. Honest? Honest. But only for the show, not for the party afterwards. Oh, it's a deal. And I know how much you look up to Noelle and, and how much you want to be like her. What? Well, what I mean is, modeling isn't everything it seems to be. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm really glad for Noelle. I'm, I'm happy she made it. It's just... Well, I, I think you're better than that. Mom, I thought you said I could do whatever I wanted with my life. You can. Right. I just don't want to see you get hurt. I won't. The answer is yes, but only for the show. Oh, right. So you come early, we'll send up a room service. Right now, i got to run to a fitting. We come straight to my room. It's room 921. About 7 o'clock. And if you see Tony, tell him to come. Oh. All right, see you tonight. Ciao. Miss Cat, you want to wait in the car a second? I have to check the house out. He's up. You better play a little deeper, huh? Pretty good. <laughs> you know, when I was that kid's age, I caught one barehanded just like that out of candlestick. Really? After the game, my brother he, uh, took me down to the Giants' locker room. He got it signed by all the players: Mays, McCovey, Davenport, Marischal, Cepeda. Still got the ball. What is this? Everything checks out. Why don't you go ahead, take the baby, and I'll grab the luggage.
I know it's not much, but it shouldn't be so bad for a couple of days. I'll just take these into the back bedroom. No, don't bother. I didn't want to say anything before because I didn't want to put you in the middle. But I've already made other plans. I'm leaving Greg. You what? I'm leaving him. I can't take this anymore. I mean, look at my life. Look at us. I have to leave my own home just to feel safe. No, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be laying all of this on you. I guess I just needed to tell someone. When I first met Greg, he and his father were barely speaking because Greg wouldn't go into the business with him. Then when his father died, he became obsessed with winning that suit like it was going to make up to him for all those years before. Now, he's staring us apart. Mr. Metcalf, this is uh, none of my business. But some things are tougher to let go of. If it was up to me, I'd give a little bit more time. Who's the overnight bag? Which? The bag with the baby's things. I know I packed it. Anything in the truck I brought up. Oh. Oh, damn. Greg started arguing. I probably walked out of the bedroom and left it there. <laughs> I can tell by the way she cries. I had everything packed, but I have to go to the store. That's not a good idea, Mr. Metcalf. Why don't you make up a list, write down everything you need. I'll go get it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We're going to need some food anyway. Shoot while we've got her. Don't push me. You want to tell him? Tell him. You want to die? I know he's in court. I just want you to get him a message. Tell him that Tony Wolf called. We've got a problem. Mrs. Metcalf has been kidnapped. You tell Dylan the baby's okay, but to notify the police. I'm going to see what I can turn up. No, no, I'll be in touch. What am I going to do with you? I need help. Come on, leave me alone, eh? What, did she throw you out again? Hey, you enjoy your trip or what? Right. Uh, what is she doing? The strega, she throw you out again? O'Brien, you go mad. You know anybody got a place for me for the night? You need a place for the night? I need a place for the night. Mom, do you think that I look fat in this? 
Oh, Angie, stop. You look terrific. Let me see. What have I done? Well, I'm not a kid anymore. You got to tell me that? <laughs> I left Mrs. O'Brien, and I don't want to talk about it. You know what that Strega called me, huh? A card cheat. Can you believe that, huh? Well, now we're talking me. about it. Nobody calls Salvatore Lupo a card cheat. Maguada, que bad. You're having a party, and you didn't invite me. Well, you got to tell Tony. Connie, I'll tell him when I get down to my cousin Carmine. You know what she did? She took all the money that I won in that game. Can you let me bust me? Sal. I'll put it down in a book. Sal, you are not running off to Monterey without a word to your son. Listen, Tony's gone for a couple of days. Why don't you stay on the boat? Just until he gets back. You sure he's gone? This is some kind of a trick. He's gone. He's working for Dylan Elliott. Look, we're late. We gotta run. Ange, we'll drop you off at the boat, huh? Hey, I can stay here and take care of the bar. We'll drop you off at the boat. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What? Does Mrs. O'Brien know you're here? Forget about Mrs. O'Brien. He wouldn't know the difference between Uva Pasta and a Cucumero. <laughs> and another thing, I'm only here till I get a ride down the... Oh, What's that? What's that? It's a baby. I know it's a baby, but... Oh, it's a long story, Pop. Oh, give me a break. Was it a boy or a girl? It's a little girl. This is Marianne. I gotta go find her mother. Hey, Anthony, if you're in trouble. It's not mine, honest. But I need you to watch it for a couple of hours. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Just until I get a hold of Connie. I tried calling Bakari. She's not in, so. So she'll be back. Meanwhile, I could use your help. What do I know about babies? What's the note? Put the food in one end. Now, the other. Here. It's okay, it's okay. Wait! That's your fuck. Come on. Hey. Yeah? Dylan? Tony, where the hell have you been? I've already notified the police about Mrs. Medcalf. What the hell happened? Two guys grabbed her at your safe house. Get a pen. I got an impartial plate. Right, it's uh, two LS. Or LFS with a 7 in it. Late model rice burner red. Get that to the PD. Dylan, you could have told me she had a baby. It slipped my mind, I swear. The baby's okay. Metcalf is going out of his mind. Yeah, the baby's in good hands, and I'll get her back to you just as soon as I can. Tony? Captain Barnett wants to speak to you. No, you tell him don't hold his breath. I've got more important things in my mind, Dylan. All right, just stay in touch. I'm going to be in court at 8.30. You can reach me there. Tony, I strongly advise you check in with Barnett. Do I look all right? Yes, you look great. Do I? Yeah. Well, she couldn't have forgotten. I mean, she's expecting us, right? Hello? No, she probably just left the door open for us when she's coming back. Oh, hi. Noelle? 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 Ask her to send an ambulance to 921. Hurry, Ange. Go! Well? Hey, Harold. 
How's the repo business? Well, Tony Wolf. Street talk said you'd been around. See, you let you back on the force? Nah, strictly on my own. What do you need? I need you to run this play for me. Anything in the Bay Area. You can keep it. How soon? Yesterday. For 50 bucks, you can have it tomorrow. Uh, Harold, Harold, 25 now, 25 when you produce. Just like always, huh? No promises. You're all hot, Harold. How about a receipt? Oh, sure. <laughs> Lift. Angeline, I, I want you to go straight home. I'm going to go to the hospital and I'll call you as soon as I know anything, okay? Maybe I should go with you. No, just for once, do as I say, okay? I'll call you. Come on. So early, come here. Oh, I see. Hi. All right, here, come on out here, sweetheart. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Veliate, we got a problem here, Pop. What's your name, Pop? The diapers. Where'd you put the diapers? What? Pop, we got a problem here. Come on. What do you mean, we? Oh, come on, don't do this. Where are the diapers, huh? You're inside by the trunk. Hey, don't, don't. Hey, Pop, the baby, come on. I'm not lighting it for her. Here, take her a second. <laughs> one night, to what die? Here, why, why don't you change her? What is it, Pop? All right. All right, sweetheart, come on. I'm going to get you all changed up. Get you smelling nicey nice. Yeah, that's the baby. Come on, sweetheart. Hey, Pop, how long has she been like this? You couldn't change the diaper? I took care of the bottle. The stern is all yours. Now, what did you do when I was a baby, huh? Hand it to your mama. God rest her soul. Oh, mud <laughs> Now you know why, huh? Hey, Anthony, when are you going to tell me what's going on? Now, you come here with a baby, you don't tell me nothing. Now, what kind of a mother would leave her own child? She didn't leave her. She was taken. She hit her right before they grabbed her. Now, I got to go find her. Hey, that big shot Abogado, he's behind us, huh? Come on, Pop, don't start. Come I on. told you no good will come working for that guy. Okay, Pop. He's all changed. Here she is. I did my time. I got a point. No, you got to help me, Pop. Come on. Just for a little while, huh? Yeah, thanks, Pop. No. Here, give me that. Look at that. She likes you. Is that she smiling? Why shouldn't she smile? She got a handsome man waiting on her hand and foot, huh? <laughs> What are you standing around? Go find the mama, will you? I gotta change it first. Okay. Excellent. Hey, hey. Have lots of milk. And? Yeah, I'm okay. I just want to make sure you got to school on time. No, I haven't been able to see her yet. But listen, the doctors just come in and I'll let you know, okay? I love you. Bye-bye. Dr. Taylor? How's Noelle? She's been admitted for observation. Sorry you had to wait so long, but her condition raises some questions. When you found her, she was in cardiac failure. Do you know if she ever used drugs? No, uh, never. How about her eating habits? She eats everything. She always has. Why? What's happened to her? We have reason to believe your friend may be bulimic. If you hadn't acted as you did, she would have been dead. And how is she now? We seem to have caught it in time. She seems to have stabilized. I'd like to see her, please. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't believe they do this. Pensatron's a major corporation. There's a lot of stake here, Greg. I agree. I've asked to speak to the judge in chambers along with Pensatron CEO, Gerald Kent. Wolf, over here. Dylan. Metcalf. You. <laughs> Let go of me. I will if you calm down. Out. 
Jeff, I understand how you feel, but you got to believe that we're all on the same side. What about my baby? Baby's fine. She's safer away from all this. What we've got to do now is get the judge to give us continuance. Forget it. I'm not going into the courtroom until I know my wife is safe. Agreed. I'll take care of the judge myself. You have anything else? Yeah, I got somebody out on the street trying to trace the license plate. Suppose whoever took her doesn't get in touch. Oh, they will. You continue your father's suit, you put Kensitron's back to the wall. Greg, I told you, they play hardball. You're talking about businessmen here. No. I'm talking about professionals, Mr. Metcalf. I don't expect to be able to tie this to the people that you're suing. This was a contract job. Contract? What, you mean they'll kill her? Why did I ever think I could win this? Because you believed you were right. Don't let them beat you. Dylan Elliott and my wife. I'll get your wife back. You believe that? Tony. Yeah. Captain Barnett, he wants to talk to you. Joe Barnett, I stopped talking to him when I turned in my star. Captain, you just missed him. Money. Uh -huh. um, my mom's not going to be back too much later, so you may have to open up. Is that all right? Uh -huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything at all. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll call and make sure everything's okay. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Angie, where's your mom? She's at a hospital helping a friend. Is that a baby? Yeah, it's Anthony's. I'm minding it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's Tony's? Yeah. Well, no, no. It's not actually. Look, honey, it's a long story. I got to talk to your mama now. When is she coming back? I don't know, but look, I'm going to see her during lunch, so I'll let her know, okay? No, 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 lunch is too late. Hey, Angie. Maybe you could. Hal, I've got school. Well, take her with you. Oh, yeah, right. Hey. So, look, I would love to help you out, but I got a big math test. If I flunk it, my mom's going to kill me. Okay? Don't flunk it. Forget it. I'll write you a note. Yeah. Sal, oh, so I can't. Ciao. Ciao. Well, what am I going to do? Okay, Mr. Elliott, you've got your continuance. But this whole kidnapping business is so much smoke. Obviously, as chief executive officer of Kensitron, you knew nothing about it. A careful counselor. We wouldn't be suggesting anything slanderous, would we? That's all right, Gordon. I'm on firm ground here. Now, look. Kensitron is in business to make money. We don't steal patents. We don't destroy offices, and we certainly don't kidnap wives. Oh, it's very reassuring. I'm sure my client will appreciate your concern. Okay, well, you tell your client that the only thing we'd appreciate is seeing him in court. You know anything about this? No, sir. But I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. Ah, <laughs> 
A ver, amo, quick. Hey, momentino, moment. Ah. Guarda la palla. La palla me piace. Guarda. Oh, like a big baseball. Oh, look. Eso mangia. Eccoci qua, momentino. Ecco. Eh. Uh, accidente. Oh. Wolf, where the hell have you been? Barnett's going nuts. Never mind that. I ran into one of the guys who kidnapped Mrs. Metcalf. Where is he? San Francisco General, but uh, look, I'll give you the details later. He was carrying an envelope with a cassette in it. My guess is it's a ransom demand. Good work. We need new evidence. Look, I got one other thing. I got the rundown on that partial plate. We got five possibilities in the Bay Area. Three in Oakland, one in Sausalito, and one that turned up just this morning abandoned near the marina. Hot, right. You got it. Listen, bring everything you've got, including the baby, and meet me in my office in an hour. I'm on my way. But anyway, he said the baby was Tony's, but not really. I don't know, Sal really confuses me sometimes. Dr. It's Dr. kind of weird. Dr. Right, Noel. I don't know. I won't know until I see her, but the worst is over. Dr. Taylor, this is my daughter, Angeline. Hello. Hi. I'd really appreciate seeing Noel. Her condition's considerably improved over the past couple of hours. However, I'm afraid I can only permit you to see her one at a time. Oh. Okay, you go ahead. I'm going to wait over here. You can't stay long. I understand. Does she know what happened? Yes, but I'm not sure if she believes it. Denial is a big part of what she's been through. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? You smell so good. <laughs> you really scared us, you know. You could have died. Stupid accident. I'm sorry. An accident? I was getting ready, and I remember going into the bathroom. I must have slipped and hit my head. So I dumb. No, I don't do this. Do what? You have to face up to what happened. I don't understand. Sweetie, you've done some terrible things to your body. And last night it almost killed you. You can't ignore that. Connie, please, don't get angry. I just hit my head. I'm not angry, Noel. I'm scared. I, I talked to the doctor. He, he knows everything. Your bulimia and, and the amphetamines, everything. And unless you stop denying what you've been doing, it's going to be too late. You don't believe them. They're crazy. Stop it. You want to hear crazy? Listen to you. Well, you're like my own sister. It really hurts to see you like this. Now, the doctors are not lying. You are. And unless you stop, it's going to be too late. Are you listening to me? Next time you could be dead. It's my life, all right? I'm doing exactly what I want. You've been doing this a long time, haven't you? The perching and the pills. There's nothing wrong with it. Yes, there is. It's Angie. She really looks up to you, Noelle. You know, it's her, her dream to someday be exactly like you. And how would you feel something like this happened to her? I love you. They love you. I thought you cared about Angie. I do. Well, I don't think so. I think the only person you care about is yourself. Angie, your mom was just leaving. Why don't you come in? We can talk. I don't think so. Will you drive me back to school? I don't want to be late for my next class. And. I'm sorry. She'll get over it. No, I meant for you.
Sal? Sal? Anybody home? Connie. Great. You helping Pop with the baby? Well, Ann said he stopped by. That's why I came, but there's nobody here. He's not here? No. Pop? Well, this is great. I asked him to watch the baby and he takes off. Now, where the hell am I supposed to find him? Are you in some kind of trouble? No. Captain Barnett, what a surprise. If you want a surprise, Wolf, how about a warrant for questioning in the Lois Metcalf case? Hold on. You claim that you chased a guy you thought was a kidnapper after he dropped there. He was the kidnapper. He was probably on his way to delivery. Captain, why don't you just play the tape? It might save us a lot of trouble. Hi, Greg. I'm sorry I have to do things this way. I just wanted you to know why I left. Things have been so difficult lately. Lawsuit is destroying our marriage. Unless you give it up, I won't be back. Please think about it and try to make the right decision. I love you. You call this a kidnapping wolf? It's a domestic dispute. And I have got half the uniforms in this city out there busting their butt. Come on, listen to her voice. She's reading it. It's a publicity stunt. Nothing like a little press. Right, Counselor? She was taken at gunpoint. And don't you ever... proof have you got? Word of a dirty cop? <clears throat> Tony! Easy. You are lucky that I don't bust you for filing a false report. Why don't you just do your job? That woman's life is in danger, damn it! Just give me a reason to throw you in a cage where you belong. You wouldn't want a harassment charge, would you, Captain? Let's go. No! I got a police captain saying he wants to put me in a cage. There's a kidnapped woman out there who's my responsibility. You want me to relax? Just open the door. Come on! I'm sorry, Bill. Why don't we play the tape again? Hi, Greg. I'm sorry I have to do things this way. I just wanted you to know why I left. Things have been so difficult lately. This lawsuit is destroying our marriage. Unless you give it up, I won't be back. The chimes in the background. That's the Port of San Francisco clock tower, near the Bay Bridge. You sure? Yeah. But drop me a pure 42. All right. Sal. 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 Connie. Where's the baby? Oh, the ba- George is showing you the boat. Oh, dear. Giorgio? Georgia. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you got the baby. Oh, Connie, she's having such a good time. Hey, Mariana, why don't you leave with me? I'll take care of her. Oh. Sorry, Tony, but I got 
Yeah, I'm full pro. No, I just need a ride. I'm past the Bay Bridge. Sure, come on. Hop on. Great. Good night. Lunch. I'm not hungry. Safe? Yeah, she's safe. Coast Guard is on its way, so are the police. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Dylan, you want to put my cap on? Just push it when you want to. Oh. Greg? Lois, you all right? Yes, yes. Everything's okay. We need to talk. Oh, Greg, I love you. Hey, Pop. Tell me you didn't get this from the trunk. Get what? My foul ball. The baby was teeth. She gummed Willie Major's name right off. Look. But well, well, wait a minute. Who asked me to take care of the baby? Did I volunteer or was I dressed? I'm not. What's this? I'm going down to Carmine. Carmine? You're going to give me a ride or what? Listen, Papa. Forget about it, Connie. Will do. Wait a minute. Look, I really appreciate you helping me, okay? 
Maybe we can give it another chance. We're here? No, Seattle. Of course here. You mean you and me on the boat? Yeah, just like before. No, I don't think so. Why not? Because. Oh, come on, Pop. What do you want from me? Anthony, I'm your father. I'm not your son. I'm not your roommate. I'm your father. You're right. It was a bad idea. I was just thinking that maybe you and me would give it another try. But if you really don't want to, it won't work. Who said I didn't want to? Ah, I know what you meant. Anthony, I just don't like to be where I'm not wanted. Come on, Pop. You're starting to drive me crazy. Are you going to stay? Where are you going to go? Huh? Maybe for a week. But no promises. Yeah, no promises. On the next wolf. On him, Go back in this street where you belong. You heard him, you heard me. You get some business with that ghost. He made you look bad. Help me, somebody, please. Maybe someone else might have done this. Somebody your father knew. I told you I saw who it was. It was Will Hahn. What are you trying to get him off the hook for? No one's in this scene. Even the Asian cops are being stonewalled in the Chinese community. We used to call it the bamboo curtain. If somebody comes up with their guts to talk, I'm going to be there to listen. Later tonight, Pat Sajak welcomes Baseball Hall of Famer Ernie Banks, sexy Christina Applegate, and more. Now, Richard Chamberlain becomes involved with a woman who's hiding something, a situation that could end their relationship and her life. Get ready for Island Sun, next. <laughs>